Well, that's an owl box. And look, an owl pellet, fur, bones, all the parts of an owl's small mammal dinner that it just can't digest. So, I'm definitely in the right place. So where's Colin Shoyer? Psst, Howie. Look. Barn owls like this are under threat. They're not producing enough young to keep the species going. I'm here to investigate what's being done about it. So why aren't barn owls producing enough young? Well, to understand that, we've got to look at their food chain. OK. At the bottom, you've got grass, and that's eaten by small mammals like voles and mice. And the voles and mice are, in turn, eaten by the barn owls. Yes, but it's the number of small mammals that's so important. Right, because the number of small mammals will directly control the number of owls that can live in a given area. Exactly. And the less mammals there are, the longer the owls will have to hunt. That's right. So how many small mammals does an owl need? Well, an adult owl needs about three small mammals a day. Right. Owls like to hunt up to about one kilometre from the nest. If there aren't many small mammals around, the hunting is very inefficient. They have to fly a long way just to catch enough food for themselves. So, although they could catch enough food to feed themselves, there's no way they can get enough to raise a family. Exactly. So why is there such a shortage of small mammals? I mean, there's hardly a shortage of grass. It's everywhere. Yes, but it's not the quantity, it's the quality of rough grass. If we look at this area here, it's all short, close-cropped, well-grazed, and voles can't make their nests, they can't make their runs, and they can't hide. So as this grass is too short for small mammals to live in, it means there's not enough food for owls. So the owls won't breed. Yes, they won't breed and the species will die out. So what the owls need to do is move to an area where hunting can be made more efficient. Well, somewhere suitable for small mammals. Yes, come on, I'll show you. I guess that means grassland that would give them good cover. Well, this meadow is excellent because there's this rough tussocky grassland here. Well, I'm sure if we look hard, we might find vole run. Yeah, here we are. Here, look. Here's a vole run, and in here are the small clippings of grass, which is their food store. So this area is alive with small mammals. Look what good cover this grass gives, meaning the small mammals can breed, increasing the food supply for the owls. Colin's monitoring the number of small mammals using traps, which catch them alive. Right, right. shall we see if we've caught anything? Yes. There he is. A wood mouse. So how many small mammals like this will a family of owls need to eat in a day? About 20 small mammals in one evening and about 15,000 in the breeding season. That's an incredible number. It is indeed, and that's why they need rich habitat. With more small mammals around, the owl can hunt more efficiently and catch food not just for itself, but for a whole family. Collins put an owl box here, as there are no natural nesting places in the area. These are young owls, which shows the parents are breeding. They're checked to make sure they're growing into healthy adults. It won't be long before they fly off for good, and soon they'll be starting families of their own to continue the species.